Welcome to the outdoors we love. Today we shall train our attention on the Azar 4, which, according to its maker, is a true half-ton truck camper. We intend to take a look at the available versions of Azar 4, that is, the premium, off-road, shell, and premium plus versions. Finally, we hope to look into how Azar 4 does, in real off-road situations, and, later, in freeways. Fasten your seatbelt, and enjoy the ride. The Azar 4 Premium version, which fits well on small trucks, has a fiber monocoque body design. It has a front dinette seating for, probably, four medium-built guys, a small but usable kitchen, which fits well in the major scheme of things and which tucks in well, out of view when not in use, and an overhead cabinet, which understandably is not so large. There are two sleeping areas, the north to south bed, which can accommodate two adults, and the dinette that can be converted into a bed, which can accommodate another adult, or probably a couple of kids. The Azar 4 has a couple of dual pane windows, and some storage underneath the kitchen sink. The toilet is small as well, but it's enough to cater to your basic needs. It has a porta potty, a retractable faucet and a sink. Good enough for me. The options include the removal of the passenger side bench, which enables you to lengthen your kitchen counter and paves the way for another storage area and the installation of a small fridge. Shown here is the electrical panel and here is the fridge beside the optional storage, the standard overhead kitchen cabinet, the washroom with the porta potty, sink, retractable faucet and small black tank that you can easily empty, the bed, and the roof hatch among others. Here are some standard features that we have already seen. So in this unit, what we see different are the fridge, extra counter space, and storage in exchange of the passenger side bench, and the solar charging system. Compared with a Sprinter Expedition vehicle, a Zar 4 is smaller overall. It may be as long as the Expedition vehicle, but definitely it is less tall and less wide than the van. Is it more off-road capable though? We shall soon find out. The next unit is designed for off-road expeditions and is fittingly called the off-road version. Fully comfortable and functional. The off-road version is equipped with a toilet and a wash basin. Take note however, that this unit doesn't have an indoor shower. The design and materials used are of good quality. It has three full-size sleeping places for adults, designed in a very functional way. The internal space is configured in such a way that it allows to carry very specialized expedition equipment. There's not so much luxury here, just the essentials to keep you safe and comfortable while camping in the wilderness. Created for DIY people, the standard or shell unit is a shell with complete electrical wiring, thermal insulation, and wall, ceiling and floor covering as in the premium version. The Premium Plus version is designed for larger pickup trucks such as the Ford F-150, Toyota Tundra, Ram 1500, and others of similar size. It is fully equipped for comfortable travel, like the Premium version. Like the Premium version, the Premium Plus has a 20-gallon water tank capacity, can be fitted in with an air conditioner, and uses SPAR for heating. It has the same layout as the Premium version as well. Yet because of the bigger space inside, a built-in toilet with a replaceable cassette is a standard feature of this unit, and so are larger capacity cabinets and lockers. Obviously, this unit has a bigger space inside. You must be made aware however, that the windows are of the same size as the premium version. I wonder if they can provide you with a bigger one upon request. I sure do hope so. The durable fiberglass monocoque body together with air insulation and modern insulation materials will minimize the risk of water condensation in the interior and provide comfort regardless of weather conditions. A solid four-point mounting of the camper to the pickup truck bed protects against mechanical damage and unauthorized removal of the unit. Every Azar 4 camper is equipped with functional and secure doors. The door is protected from the outside by a lock and from the inside by a strong and extremely difficult to break bolt. A heating and ventilation system from the renowned company Planer Eberspacher is also utilized for thermal comfort. It is a dry heating system powered by diesel, which eliminates condensation. 
Inside the capsule, detectors of all common gases and smoke are installed. The detectors will immediately warn users of the danger through acoustic and optical signals. The roof hatch is tightly closed, and can serve as an emergency exit in emergency situations. All the furniture used inside has safety locks used in campers and yachts. The furniture is made of solid and lightweight boat building plywood, and its surfaces are safe and long-lasting. A drive test by Terran Wizia showed the off-road and on-road behavior of Azar 4. Off-road, Azar 4 does very well. Of course, it makes the truck much higher than without it. But its lightweight construction doesn't affect the truck's proficiency that much. Your entire camper's aptitude depends on your truck and the tire you use. Your truck's capability with or without the camper will be about the same. On road, as R4 is superb, especially when compared with other RVs. During the test drive, the camper showed great composure, even at high speeds. Tests have also shown that it doesn't affect the truck's fuel consumption that much. Its lightweight and aerodynamic construction really make a difference here. Overall, Azar 4's compromise of having a smaller living space on one hand, has on the other hand, ensured a safe and comfortable camper that drives very well off, or on road. If you are a person, who prefer to spend more time outside your camper than inside, then Azar 4 of may be the camper for you. Thank you for watching. May you have more pleasant adventures ahead of you. Have a great day.